Hello, Internet, so nice to see you. One common situation in music is that you have a melody and you want to find, quote, what chords go with it, unquote. That is, you want to harmonize the melody. Well, there are several videos on YouTube that take the most complex approach to this situation, with uh, secondary diminished chords, temporary modulation, the quantum theory of harmony and whatnot. Here, I want to go in the complete opposite direction. I want to make it as simple and bare bones as possible. Why? Because you get more music done when things are simple, and you can always add the complex stuff later. So here we try to use the least possible number of chords to harmonize a melody. Let's take a G major scale, just so we don't take the usual C major scale. The G major scale is G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp. Now, let's take three chords in this scale, and I'm gonna pick, knowing what I'm gonna get, I'm gonna pick the first chord, the fourth chord, and the fifth chord. The first chord is G, the notes are G, B, D. The fourth chord is C major, the notes are C, E, G. The fifth chord is D major, the notes are D, F sharp. A. As you can see here, those three chords cover the whole scale. All the notes in the scale are inside at least one of those three chords. When we harmonize a melody in the G major scale, well, if the note of the melody is G, we're going to play either a G or a C chord under it. If the note of the melody is A, we're going to play a D chord under it. If the note of the melody is B, we're going to play a G chord under it, and so on and so forth. In other words, whatever is the note of the melody, we're going to play one of the chords that contain that note. And as you can see, for five of those notes, this means we have no choice. For A, B, C, E, and F sharp, we have only one possible choice of chord. For G and D, we have two choices of chord. Are those all the possible chords and harmony we can use? No, of course not. But it's interesting to see how many times a harmonization done with just three chord sounds perfectly good. So, for instance, let's play a G major scale on the first string of our guitar. And now let's play the chord that go with it. We just harmonized the G major scale using only the chords 1, 4, 5. Proceeding this way, we can harmonize any kind of melody. Let's take something super simple. Let's take Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. I just need to add the chords corresponding to these notes. Of course, I can do this with any other kind of melody. For instance, I can take this melody here. Now, this may sound so-so on the guitar, so let's hear it on another instrument. Here I wrote the melody for two French horns. Then I picked the chords exactly like I did before for Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, and I added just the root of the chord at the bass using a bass trombone and a tuba playing together to get a better tone. Finally, I used two trombones to fill up the rest of the notes of the chord, following the top line. Those are the exact notes I was playing before on the guitar, just taken down an octave to fit the range of the trombones. I think it's a pretty okay harmonization of this melody, considering that we are using only three chords, only in root position, and while it's not without some problems, the trombones, for instance, are playing a little bit high in their range, it's perfectly acceptable and playable.
Now, we did all these in the G major scale, but the same works in minor. The G minor scale is G, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F. And I take again the first, fourth, and fifth chord of the key. First chord is G minor, G, B flat, D. Fourth chord is C minor, C, E flat, G. Fifth chord is D minor, D, F, A. And you see again, we cover the whole scale. I can play a G minor scale on the first string of my guitar. And then I can add chords to it, following the same idea. If, rather than the G natural minor scale, you want to use the G harmonic minor scale, you just change the F into an F sharp and the fifth chord from D minor to D, and everything works exactly the same. So, any melody you take in the G minor scale can be harmonized using only three chords. These may seem like a simplistic technique that gives you only a few choices. And you know, it is but it's also a very good starting point to do more complex things. As an example, let's take just the first three notes of the minor scale, G, A, B flat, and let's put the chords in it. Well, this was my starting point for the melody of a little piece I wrote for a friend. At the beginning, I harmonize everything using only the three chords like we've seen above, and then, of course, I rearrange the voices, I put some more music theory trickery in it, etc. But this three chord harmonization technique helped me work much faster than I would have normally. This part took me around a couple of hours to write and mock up because I was also figuring out how to use the software. Here it is. Now, many of the lines and harmonies of this string piece have been written on guitar, since guitar is as good a sketching instrument as the piano, if not better in some respect. If you want to learn how to use your guitar as a harmonic powerhouse, and if you like the style of these videos, where we proceed from simple to complex giving all the details, then you are going to love the complete chord mastery guitar course. Complete Chord Mastery, it's not a book. It's a complete video course made by guitar players for guitar players. If you want to invest some time and really understand how harmony works on guitar, then I recommend Complete Chord Mastery. If you are just searching for a quick fix, then I do not recommend Complete Chord Mastery. But if you really want to understand everything from the ground up, 
the inside out of the harmony on guitar, all the nuts and bolts, how to create chord progression, how to arrange them on guitar, how to make them sound more guitaristic or less guitaristic when there is the need, then I totally recommend you check out Complete Chord Mastery. Click on the link on the top right. If you like this video, smash on that like button, don't forget to subscribe and definitely click on notification, otherwise YouTube will not let you know when I put up a new video. And if you have any feedback, comment, suggestion, write them down in the comments, I love reading from you guys. This is Tommaso Zillio of musictheoryforguitar.com and until next time, enjoy!